Hey guys, it's Tony with Gazelle. Hope everybody's doing well today. Guys, I just wanted to kind of follow up with some trades that I held over the weekend. And I uh, wanted to kind of let you guys see where we are. We're right here at AUD CAD. I think at the beginning of, I mean, I think at the end of the week, uh, we might have been up maybe 90-ish pips. Something to that effect. And you see guys how it's continued to move beautifully in the market and you we see this precise entry here guys just look at this just beautiful now what do we see again we saw a fresh rejection of the daily time frame and i did change my chart just a little bit and i just have just the daily uh support and resistance up just to kind of show you guys just you know what you really can do um you can simply just go from white to white now that takes several days but you see fresh rejection we see your entry and guys look at it go okay so i've done the same thing here and i plan on letting this just mature the whole week guys i really feel like this is a great trade and uh, i feel very comfortable in just letting this go okay uh, the next one that i want to show you uh is one i kind of took uh either last night or one, or something to the, either this morning or last night I, i'm getting them all mixed up this is Euro NZD. Okay. And we see a beautiful, beautiful rejection here. And first of all, this is a beautiful drop. I mean, look at this drop from last week. And a lot of this was uh, based upon the war going over, over in Europe. And so there was a lot of pressure on the Euro. But what I know about the market is it has to regain and close that gap, guys. Um, I, 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 if it was in an uh, upward trajectory, if it was in a bullish trend, it has to regain that gap, guys. So I think that it's really heading up now. And uh, we see the entry that we got. I waited for this uh, initial push. It came down and retested this level. I waited for the next entry to come in when I knew there was bullish momentum to support it. And I just simply got in, guys. Okay, so I've waited throughout all of this. And now... You see we're in pretty good profit as it is right here okay and so um i feel very confident uh the last one that i wanted to show you guys that kind of a carryover from last week it's kind of vacillated back and forth a little bit and that is us cad guys my stop loss is still at the place where it was last week and it came up and retouched the level but you see that i have confidence to stay in because the stealth moving average has not changed so we knew that this was simply a pullback on a smaller time frame, but we see that the trajectory is still the same, okay? So this would have been a great area, actually, for re-entry right there. And uh, we, we expect this to go down, and, and, and we feel comfortable because we're in a healthy downtrend. Why? Because what is, what is the definition of a downtrend? Lower highs and lower lows. So we see a high here, a low here, a lower high, and a lower low. So we expect this to make an even lower low than this. So I'm actually going to pull my stop loss down here because I expect it to make a lower low. Okay, see it? Hey guys. So that's a little bit of what I teach in my Gazelle uh, mentorship group. And uh, if you want to be a part of a mentorship group, please reach out to me. Actually, you can go to the website and we have uh, a link to where you can sign up for that. Okay, guys, I have to go, guys, because I have to get with my Gazelle family. and We're going to do some uh, work through some things and, uh, and do some setups and look at some uh, some some uh, setups in the market. Okay, guys, but visit us at GazelleTradeFX.com. Again, that is GazelleTradeFX.com and, and the uh, coupon code. Um, GZ New Wave 12 is still active, guys. Okay, okay. I, mean, I extended out a couple more days. Use the coupon code uh, GZ New Wave 12 to get a discount on the software. Okay, guys. Happy trading. Take care. Bye bye.